welcome to our new video in this video we are going to see how we can create a password or you can say validator or a password strength meter okay so as there are number of line number of libraries but they again have certain limitation like what are the or uh, what we can say rules or the way they have implemented you will only get that so better ways to implement your custom logic so everything like what are the css and everything you will have control over it okay so as you can see on the password text box when i'm hovering on the text box we are getting this small pop-up here we can see the basic validation that password needs this like it is a required it should contain one uppercase lowercase minimum eight character should contain number should contain special character and the pattern okay so if i am typing admin at one two three okay so you can see once i type capital a so required is got green then uppercase is also got green then d is a small m i n at the rate is a special character so see what whatever the character we are uh, entering that validation is getting green okay once i type the number it should highlight that one so once I type the two minimum eight character also done and the pattern whatever we have added it is also highlighted. So this is nothing but password strength meter. Okay. So let's see the implementation. Okay. On the text box you can see first this is a template uh, property what we need for the validation. Then ng model ng model changes event. I will explain it later. Then events. Like you can see on hover also i'm getting this pop-up or i'm typing also okay so there are two events on hover and typing so for those mouse enter is the one event and key press is the event you can see same event i have called that is open pop-up okay and when mouse leaves let's say currently i'm on the text box and i'm leaving the mouse so i should that pop-up should be hidden okay so for that we have the on mouse leave event then this the pattern which i have added then required then this is uh, just the ng model what we need okay and basic remaining things are the basic one just one thing is here like this id i have added because I, we are going to need this id okay this is about text box okay next thing is pop-up so that pop-up you see is simply a div okay it is just a classes what we add to that div and the position like where we have to show that okay so we get that position from that text box okay so if you can see space. so you can see i'm selecting that particular text box and then getting that left and the top document dot query selector then i have provided that id that so in javascript we have that gate bounding client right so it will gives us the position of that element from left to the top okay so we have got left and top so plus in top we have added 39 because we need pop up below the text box let's say if i remove this so you can see i get it on the text box then it will call that on live also and on live so you will get this blur kind of okay so that's why we have added some padding from the top so it will get the pop-up will open at the below of the text box okay so in this function you can see in open pop-up function what we are doing this meter pop-up okay this is a simply a variable in which we are storing css See, display is equal to block, position is equal to absolute, and left px and right top px. Okay, now this variable we are assigning to this div using ng style. So, whatever the CSS get form, like uh, that uh, left side and the top position, that get applied to here. Okay, and extra CSS are here, like context menu, that is the parent uh, div of the pop-up which having position absolute and box shadow something then inside the inside this parent div we have one more div drop down content so here we need background color white and minimum width like let's say 250 is there 
this is 250 width you can see if you need you can increase it then again box shadow z index one border radius padding and again box shadow okay so this is the simple css what we need just take a look at it this is for the top div this is for the inner div okay just background color is there and minimum width is there and z index is property one okay then here all here also you can see click out click outside and mouse leave two events are there because if we open this and you are getting away so we need this purpose same close to close the pop-up we are calling multiple events here also we have the same event and on the text box also we have the same event okay now here we have just have the validation let's say password so password is my property template variable okay that we get this is the normal validation i won't go in deep with this so password dot errors dot required if it is there i'm adding a text danger class otherwise text success class this is just danger class gives us the red color and text success gives us the green color okay and this is for that right click and the cross you can see this is a right and the cross this is just a color combination what we have used okay so first one is for that required then in next case you can see we if after this this is for just the required like text box contain the value or not after that all the is like a strength meter the things which we need like uh, password it contains uh, at least one upper character lower character minimum length is match or not numeric character is there or not has special character and last one is the parrot this is uh, again template form validations only password dot errors password dot errors dot pattern okay so password valid this is another variable it is by default any okay now on text box when the value get changed we have we are calling one function password validation okay so you can see password validation this function okay here we are we will be getting we are sending the dollar event so we will get the particular value from that text box okay so here you can see we are just using the regular expression to test our what you can say you know, let's say it you know, simple character is present or not upper character is present or not lowercase character is present or not it contains number or not so simply you can see we have created a constant and this is a pattern dot test password text so it will return true and false it is storing it is same is stored being in this variable and all these we are storing in this object so let's say password valid min valid see for min valid we just have to compare like it is greater than 8 or not then we are written you now we are storing true and false has uppercase has lowercase has numeric and has upper has special character okay so in this variable you get all the validation so same we are using here see here password validator dot has uppercase if this property is true then this class will be applied otherwise this class will be applied so same way we have all the code okay one more thing i have left so this close pop-up close pop-up function in the close pop-up function we are what we are doing the styles variable we are just adding a style display none so all this property will be removed and only display none css will be present over there let me show you in console see so it will be present here currently it has only one css that is display none but if i open this you can see in the style section we have got that particular css now you can see the pop-up somewhat left side somewhat right side because we have console open so left and the top position get distracted now okay so see once i get the mouse away from it again display none property is there okay so this is how we can build our custom password strength meter logic can be anything but basic concept is same you have to open a pop-up in that pop-up you will write your logic okay to open pop-up we just need some fancy things like we have to you know append the dynamic style and we need top and left position to open the pop-up on the below the text box so that is only the thing and 
some events when to open the pop-up and when to close the pop-up so on mouse click we are closing and mouse enter and key press enter we are opening the pop-up that's it okay hope you like the video please do like and subscribe